I just built a smart off-road light bar that can automatically adjust itself while you're driving on its own by using a Chinese light bar and an Arduino microcontroller. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Raptor. My name is Tony and I have been working in the smart home and a smart car space for about 10 years and I can't wait to show you the next side project that I've got cooked up. When I was in search for a light bar for my truck, I came across a very unique light bar that really was the inspiration for this project. I found this light bar on a drop shipping website and it has a controller that allows you to actually adjust the beam pattern from full flood to very narrow spot depending on whether you're driving slow and maneuvering around obstacles or fast and need the light way out in front to see where you're going. Now I know everybody doesn't think this way, but I saw this light bar and I thought to myself, that's silly. Why doesn't it have a GPS module so it can adjust itself based on your vehicle speed all on its own? And that's when I decided, well, I'll buy it and I'll build one. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Tony, there's a couple other companies out there that have some GPS controlled light bars. And you'd be right, but I've got two reasons why I'm choosing to do this project. One, those solutions are way too expensive. I did this project for about a quarter of the price of those, and I'm not gonna go hack apart a multi-thousand dollar light bar for a side project. And two, I'm a tech head. I love coding and soldering, and so it's way more fun to just build it myself to work the way I want it to, rather than buying somebody else's. All right, so let's break this light bar down to the basics to show you how it actually works. Each light bar consists of a series of two and a half inch pods. And on each pod, there are two 90 degree floodlights, two narrower driving lights, and then one 10 watt bright spotlight. And with these combinations of lights, we can do a lot of really cool things. So the way that it works is each unit comes with a controller. And on this controller is the ability to go from full flood to full spot. And as you increment into these six steps, it will vary the brightness of your floodlight, your driving light, and your spotlight to light up the scene in different ways depending on how you need it when you're out off-roading. So that means there's no moving parts and you can adjust them while you're driving to whatever your needs are. Hey, are you liking this lighting video so far? If so, hit that like button and light up that thumb. There's some pretty key advice that the off-road world talks about as it comes to driving at night, and that is don't outdrive your lights, meaning you need enough light coverage in front of you to be able to see any obstacle that might come and have enough time to either break or move or swerve, wherever it might be, to keep you safe while you're driving at night. If you go faster than your lights, you're gonna get in trouble. So the way our GPS module is gonna work is the faster you drive, the more narrower the beam pattern is gonna get out in front so you can see farther ahead. The first thing I did when I got the light bar was tear it apart to figure out how it worked. I took apart the light housing, I took apart the controller. I hooked up some test equipment to kind of figure out how the light bar was working and the signals that were sent between the controller and the light bar. And then I came up with a plan. Okay, so here's the plan and how it's gonna come together. We have our existing light bar and our light bar controller. I've decided to go ahead and go with an Arduino-based GPS controller that would sit right between these two. And by doing this, it could act as a relay. Whenever you hit a button on the existing controller, it would send it to the Arduino controller and it would just repeat that same signal to the light bar. But when you hit this low beam button, which is kind of a worthless feature for this controller, our controller would take over, move into GPS mode, and now it could automatically send the signals on its own based on the GPS speed of the wide, medium, or narrow lighting pattern to the light bar automatically. So I got started with a really simple and kind of messy rudimentary uh, breadboard here with all the wires crossed and, and hooked up. And this is really just designed for me to say, hey, can this controller that I built actually send a command to the light bar and the light bar change? And that's what the first step was. 
Now in the second step, I moved on to a bit of a cleaner prototype and I made a realization on the second step. I can't drive around the neighborhood with this huge bright light bar all over, all over the place and on a regular basis. It's not really street legal, so I can't drive in other areas. And I don't wanna be limited to only doing this testing during the day. So I designed these six LEDs here that represents the six light patterns from full wide to full spot for this light bar um, into the actual controller itself. So that I could test during the day and see each light light up, which represented the signal for the setting that the controller would be sending to the light bar. So I could make sure GPS was working and everything was working as designed and quickly in a way that would be responsive and helpful while I'm driving at night. It was time to get serious about making it a lot smaller and a, something that could fit in my truck long term. So I ordered a bunch of cases to figure out what size all these components could actually fit into. I found a way to get a lot smaller Arduino controller in there, so it made it nice and compact. And I hired an engineer to actually build out a PCB custom for this use case or printed circuit board, meaning this is the actual board that's gonna hold all the components inside of the case. Bam! The finished product, custom made by yours truly. Now let's see the thing in action. see it adjusting between the wide pattern all the way to the narrower spotlight pattern as we drive faster. And then as we slow down, you can see it go all the way down to the full wide flood pattern as we stop. This was by far one of the most fun projects that I've done so far. It was kind of this combination of lighting, which I needed with, with soldering and the tech gadgets with the Arduino and the coding all built together to really build a purpose-built smart off-road light bar that has great function. Now, I do have a couple extra components. If you guys are interested in building one of these yourselves, hit me up on Instagram. That's the best place to get a hold of us. Hey guys, we're gonna keep this video content rolling, but why wait for the next video? Check out the link here for another video that you can watch to get inspiration on your next upgrade.